In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix a video with this amount of noise and make it this clean by properly applying DaVinci Resolve's noise reduction. Inside DaVinci Resolve's color module, right click on the first node and add a series node before. It is recommended that the noise reduction be applied to the first node of all to obtain the best possible result. Now we go to the motion effect panel in this icon. Here is the noise reduction function. The first thing we must modify is the temporal noise reduction. The higher this number, the better quality, but it also consumes more resources of the computer's graphics card. If DaVinci Resolve shows you an error when applying temporal noise reduction, decreases the number of frames, I will choose five, which is the maximum. Once we have selected the frames, we must change the mode from faster to better quality. This is a change that I highly recommend since the improvement is quite noticeable. The next section is the motion range section. Here we have to take into account how much camera movement is there in the video that you are applying the noise reduction. In my video, for example, there is not much movement. It is a general shot with a slight movement because I recorded by hand. There are some people and cars passing by, but this is not important. Since there is little movement, we can select small. If your video has a lot of movement, select large or medium. Now comes one of the most important settings, temporal threshold. Here, if it is a video at night with a lot of noise like the one in the example, I recommend increasing the luminance and chroma to values between 20 and 50. I think that 30 is quite good. Do not increase to maximum values since you lose a lot of definition and texture of the video. Remove the noise it's important, but your image shouldn't look like it's made of plastic. We're done with the temporal noise reduction settings. Now we need to go to the spatial noise reduction. I'm going to apply AR this noise reduction in another node to be able to better show what it does in this tutorial, but you can apply both in a single node. With spatial noise reduction, we are going to fix the chromatic noise that is in the video. And what is chromatic noise? Do you see that there is blue noise in the sky? There is also black and even more purple parts. Also on the roof part, you can see black parts and blue parts. It should be all black, right? Well, that's chromatic noise. It's noise of different colors. To fix this time, we are going to select faster. Yes, faster before better quality. In spatial threshold, we must raise the chroma part. For that, we have to deactivate the chain icon and now we can only modify the chroma. We raise the chroma 20 or 30 until we see that all the color of the noise disappears. Now I am going to zoom in on the screen so that you can see the before and after removing the chroma noise. As you can see, there is a great difference by doing this. The image is much better. Lastly, we can apply a slight sharpening to the video. As when using the denoiser, you always lose a bit of definition in the image. Create a new node and click on this icon here. Now we need to lower the radius to get the focus. We see that the image has been focused. You must lower from 0.5 to 0.49 or 0.48. Do not lower much more since we do not want it to be something very exaggerated. And that's it. Your video is much cleaner, can help you a lot to fix shots with a lot noise and nothing else. I hope it has been useful and see you next video.